I love yarn. Beautiful colors, variegated textures, nubby, loopy. There are so many different choices of yarn. Now I love to crochet, but today I'm going to share a jewelry idea with you that's quick and easy using yarn. When selecting yarn for this project, be sure that you select those really thick and bulky yarns. You can find them in variegated, solid, this is a nubby yarn. So whichever colors you prefer, be sure you just select something that's a very bulky yarn. For my bracelet base, I am using a wood bracelet. And this I actually found in the studio that one of the other designers must have been creating at some point, but they never finished it. So I thought this would be a great way to show you how you can upcycle other bracelets that you have, whether it's projects that you never completed, or if you um, also just want to use a plain wood bracelet or plastic, sometimes you can find those at the dollar store. I cut off a long length of my yarn and I rolled it into a ball. It's much easier if you do this it helps to be able to weave it around and around your bracelet. I am also using my Aline's Tacky Dot Singles and my Aline's Turbo Tacky for this project. The Tacky Dot Singles are great to start your yarn. I just press it right into the inside of my bracelet. Then I don't have a lot of wet glue on the inside when I'm starting to wrap and I just press the end right into the sticky dot and you start wrapping around. Now this particular yarn has a lot of stretch to it so I'm trying to keep it bulky so I don't want to stretch it out. And just tuck each of those rounds right next to each other and you may have to keep pushing them together because they will separate as you go round and round. Just Keep doing this until you have your entire bracelet covered with the yarn. When your bracelet is completely covered with the yarn, you're going to want to take the end and cut it off and put a little dab of your Aline's Turbo Tacky to the inside and press the end into it. You can use an Aline's Tacky Dot Single, but I found that it's very sticky if you don't get the yarn pressed into it. So just grab your Aline's Turbo Tacky and press the end in. This is a five minute project that is just beautiful. I also want to show you how I created the matching earrings. You can use a wooden skewer or a knitting needle for this next step to create your earrings. I have wire that's about 22 gauge. You want to be sure that you have wire that is strong enough to hold its shape when you start tugging at it in order to shape your earrings. As you can see, I'm just wrapping it around and around, then I'm pushing it together. And I like to do about 60 rounds for each earring. And here's a hint. Be sure that you do all of your wrapping for both of your earrings to the exact count, the exact same number of loops for each earring at the same time. So I'm going to continue wrapping until I have 60 loops for each earring. I have wrapped both of my wires about 60 times so I have 60 coils here and be sure that you leave plenty at each end because you're going to use this to actually hang your earrings. So just give this a stretch and it's okay if each of the coils are not exactly even and decide how long you want your earrings. That looks like a good length. And wrap your ends to hold that shape. Now I start out with a very wide petal shape and when it starts wrapping it actually turns into more of a teardrop. So create both of your earrings to the same shape. Now that I have both of my earrings to the same shape we're going to go ahead and start wrapping our first earring and I leave a little tail on my yarn and put that up towards the top and then you just start wrapping and each time you wrap around you're going to just tuck that yarn into one of those coils. Now it doesn't matter if the yarn splits at this point 
just be sure that you have a solid coverage of yarn. Also, sometimes I'll go back into the same coil if it looks like my yarn is starting to go crooked. Just double it up so that you have a straight line of yarn all the way down the center. So keep wrapping until you reach the bottom. As I explained, when you are wrapping your yarn down, you can see that it turns into more of a teardrop from its initial petal shape. So keep that in mind when you're deciding what shape that you want. Now that I've reached the bottom, I'm going to loop it into the very bottom coil. And then I'll just bring the excess up the back. Now if you have a large needle, you could thread this through and actually stitch it right through the center, or I'm just going to use my Turbo Tacky glue and glue this right down the back. When you reach the top, you can wrap that piece around a couple of times, and then you're going to tie it back with the end of the first piece here and just tie that securely right around that top wire. I also like to put another little dab of my Aline's Turbo Tacky in that knot so it holds very firmly. When the glue is dry then you can cut off these ends. Keep in mind when you're using variegated colored yarn that you will get two different colored earrings unless you cut specifically the lengths of yarn that you want off of your ball of yarn to make the matching. I really like the look with the two different colors. You will take your end pieces of wire and your needle nose pliers and you will wrap them around to form an eye and then just wrap the ends back on and you're going to attach the fish hook earring and you have a pair of earrings and a beautiful bracelet in under 30 minutes. I hope that I've inspired you to start looking at your balls of yarn a little bit differently. You can create bracelets and earrings in under 30 minutes. It's so cool. I'm Tiffany Windsor and I think it's cool to craft. <laughs>